y'all what's going on this is the girl vivian and i am back with another video this is just gonna be a quick reaction thoughts whatever you want to call it about the michael jordan's the last dance documentary that aired last night on espn um it's a 10 part series so only two parts were aired last night um It was okay. Um, it showed a little bit about Michael Jordan's, um, you know, how he came up and things like that. Um, his mom talked and um, things like that. Basically, what I'm getting from this documentary, even though there's so many parts um, that still left to be shown, um, it has a lot to do with the owner at the time, which was Jerry Krause. Um, this coming in, in between the team and the coaches and things like that. Um, from my understanding, it feels like he broke up the dynasty. Um, that's, that's what it's looking like to me. Like he broke up the dynasty. You know, you know, first of all, he wanted to get rid of Phil Jackson. And Michael Jordan had already stated, I mean, you getting rid of Phil, I'm not saying, you know, in so many words. Um, and that's exactly what happened. Phil Jackson was not rehired after they won their sixth NBA title. And Michael Jordan left. Uh, we all know that. But um, from what I'm getting, it, it just seems like a lot of it had to do with... That's what, I'm, that's what I'm getting. A lot of it had to do with the owner getting in the middle of things. And when he made that comment that organizations win championships, you know, in so many words and stuff like that. I mean, to, to me, that's a slap in the face. Because, yeah, the organization, you know, it plays a part in things like that. But it's really the players. It's really the players and the coach. You know, things like that. So, that's a slap in the face to me. I didn't like that comment that was made by the owner. Regardless of how he tried to... Make it sound like, oh, that's not what it meant. Things like that. Whatever. I didn't like that at all. And then, another part that I didn't like where, you know, on the second episode, the way the second episode ended was about Scottie Pippen. And Scottie Pippen was getting to the point to where he didn't feel like, he felt like he wasn't getting paid enough like everybody else. Now, that right there, I didn't like at all. Because Scottie, Scottie Pippen was a major factor. A major factor with the Bulls organization. Him and him and Jordan together. I mean, th th that's almost like John Stockton and Carl Malone and Charles Barkley and Kevin Johnson. You know, things like that. You know, and David Robinson, the Admiral, and Tim Duncan. You know, players like that, like, you know, I just don't understand. And I understand it's because of the contract that he signed at the time. Like he stated, he really didn't have a choice, you know, because of things that was going on with his family. You know, his dad and his brother having, you know, medical issues at the time. So he didn't want to take a chance you know, trying to negotiate or things like that at the time. And I get that. I understand that. But still, I feel like the owner could have done something to where Scottie Pippen could have, could have a new contract and, you know, have more money. I mean, you have... Don't get me wrong. The majority of the players on the Bulls team were very good. You had um, Paxton. Well, Paxton was gone, I think, after 94. But you had Steve Kerr, you had Tony Kuko, you had you had a lot of them, which I feel like Scottie Pippen should have been paid more than Tony Kuko. I, I I just don't understand how, but whatever. I guess it's because of the contract. But still, something could have been done. Something could have been done to where he could have got paid more. And I love Michael Jordan. He was one of my favorite NBA players back in the day. I mean, who didn't like Jordan? But for him to say that Scottie Pippen was being selfish, really? How he's being selfish?
first of all, you were getting 33 million. That's first of all. Okay, you was getting more than out of all of them. Scotty Pippen should have been right under you. Okay? Should have been right under you. So for you to tell him, if for you to say that he was being selfish, it's kind of an understatement. And you were wrong for that. Because you should understand, I mean, you getting $33 million. And he's getting like $2.2 2, 2 million, something like that. Like, how about you, you should have divided your your earnings and give it to him how, how you should have gave him half then you know what i'm saying i just didn't like that i, I didn't like the comment that was made you know again i felt like scotty pippa should have deserved more because he was a contributing factor to that organization he was a major factor so for him and, and i mean this is going to get really good there's more episodes to come but i just wanted to come in and just give my opinion Shit is about to get real. It's, it's about to get real with this documentary. Um, but I do feel like the owner had a lot to do with that. Jared Cross said to, uh, had a lot to do with breaking up the dynasty. And I feel like had Phil Jackson still would have been there and Michael Jordan and everybody, they probably would, I feel like they, they could have won two more had they still been there. But, I mean, again, it had a lot to do with the owner. And I'm pretty sure it was tension within the teammates, too. You know, and I don't blame Scottie Pippen for feeling the way he for feeling the way he felt. I mean, he deserved to be paid more. Regardless of what kind of contract he signed at the time, you know, thinking about his family. He deserved more. You know, and it, it's just unfortunate. It's just unfortunate. But saying that he's selfish... That's bullshit. That's bullshit. And you getting 33 million, Jordan? You should have been giving... Or how about you You give him half then? Because you, you are getting the majority of the money. And, and granted, because, I mean, you built that organization. You made the Chicago Bulls, you know, at the time. So I can't knock you for that. But still, don't call Scottie Pippen selfish when he's getting less than... Steve Kerr and everybody else when Scotty Pippen should have been getting more than Steve Kerr and them. But whatever. I just want to come do this quick video just to give my, my opinions and reaction. I do love the documentary so far. I do feel like it's going to get much, much better. The drama is really going to unfold. <laughs> you know. So I, I, I can't wait to see the rest. I think part 3 and part 4 is going to um, air next Sunday I believe on ESPN and I'm pretty sure you can still catch up to um, one parts one and two on um, ESPN demand so um, yeah that's just my thoughts um, yeah I didn't like when Jordan made that comment about Pippen being selfish I didn't like that at all and you know me I love me some Jordan but I felt like he shouldn't have made that comment period so I do thank you guys for watching and I will be back soon with another video and once again be safe everyone have a great week once again follow the rules peace